Oh, hey there! So you're planning a trip to Singapore? Welcome to Singapore. I'm Singaporean. And here's the top 10 things you should do when you come to Singapore. Let's go! At 10th place, we have Orchard Road. I'm putting it at 10th place because honestly, these days there are better malls and streets to go to. In the past, it was pretty good, but as other areas have developed, I'm gonna put Orchard Road as the least interesting place to visit within my top 10. Oh my gosh, cute bikini. <laughs> How much is it? Bruh. Oh, I see. I see, I see. Let's get out of here. Coming in at ninth place would be Little India. It's a culturally rich place. When I was a kid in school, this is one of the places teachers would bring us to see on excursions. When you go, the main thing you want to look out for is the very colourful Hindu temple. At 8th place, we have Club Key. This is a famous spot in Singapore to experience the nightlife. A cool activity you could do is to ride the boats along Singapore River. The seventh place would be Malayan Park. The Malayan is an iconic landmark in Singapore and as you can see the sky is super dark and there's barely any shelter so if it rains everyone is screwed. So do bring an umbrella. When you're here, remember to take the iconic shot of the Malayan spitting into your mouth. Mm, yes, very nice. You can see Marina Bay and the Durian Building Esplanade Theatre. Now for 6th place, we have Haji Lane. This place has an artsy, hipster kind of vibe. And you can find a wide array of unique shops and indie brands. Moving on at 5th place, we have Boogie Street. I used to come here all the time when I was a teenager to shop for clothing. It's usually not so crowded. I filmed this on a weekend. I dare say, this is one of the cheapest shopping districts in Singapore. You can get clothes for as low as 5 Singapore dollars. That's like $3.70 in USD. If you want to shop cheap, come to Boogie Street. At 4th place, we have Sentosa. Sentosa is actually a small separate island, but they made it very easy to go with the Sentosa Express train. It's a short scenic ride with the view of Singapore's port. Sentosa is where you'll find Universal Studios, The Sea Aquarium and Palawan Beach. By the way,
way, I would highly recommend trying Ting Tai Feng's fried rice and Xiao Long Pao. For third place, drum roll please, Chinatown. Why I think this is the third best place to visit in Singapore is because you get culture, architecture, food and a unique shopping experience all in one place. There's even a huge Buddhist temple called the Tooth Relic Temple. Here's a photo of it. Do you see how small the cars are? To me, this is a must-visit place in Singapore. Oh yeah, and they also have durian, if you dare. At second place, we have Changni Airport. Currently the world's best airport, and for good reason. Most noticeably, the Rain Vortex, which is the giant fountain at the area of the airport called Jewel. There's also a mini bamboo forest, a Pokemon Center, and a lot of good food. Finally, at first place. Marina Bay Sands. Why I think MBS is the top place to visit in Singapore is because of how unique it is. You're not going to find any other place in the world quite like this. If you're staying at the MBS Hotel, you can go all the way up to the infinity pool and the view looks like this. Little bitch trying to get a string. Yeah, ain't getting it. By the way, almost every April, Singapore brings cherry blossom trees to the flower dome. Oh, and don't forget to enter the Marina Bay Sands Mall. So these are the top 10 things I would recommend, especially if this is your first trip to Singapore. Please like and subscribe. Thank you and bye.